Hey, why does that car in front have a coffin on it? That's not a coffin, that's a Lee Auto Mega. Indeed, the vehicle being transported on the trailer is a new Mega by Lee Auto, an all-electric MPV released on March 1st. However, upon its launch, Lee Auto found itself in an unprecedented public relations crisis. On the day of its market debut, the car's design, likened to a coffin, sparked widespread controversy on the internet. Some even photoshopped the character for condolences onto the car body, a word typically inscribed on hearses and dubbed it a new energy funeral vehicle, fueling wild speculations. Images and videos of the car circulated widely on WeChat, TikTok, and Weibo, with netizens nicknaming it the coffin car. Some even captured the atmosphere at the scene of the new car's delivery, liking it to that of a funeral home, complete with mournful music. The video spread rapidly on social media. The delivery scene for the Mega was quite solemn and dignified. The high-end Mega was covered with white cloth, surrounded by flowers, with sales staff standing neatly by. The hall was filled with respect for the customers, fitting the Mega's character perfectly. It is worth noting that in China, it is customary for white to be a theme color for events such as funerals. This marks the most severe backlash Li Auto has faced since its inception. It's important to note that the Li Auto Mega was marketed as a vehicle that brings happiness to the entire family. However, this round of negative publicity has unfortunately associated with death, coffins, and hearses. In a culture like China's where auspiciousness is highly valued, a car saddled with such unlucky labels faces significant challenges in gaining consumer acceptance. As a result, the new cars released did not see the anticipated surge in orders, but instead led to a significant number of cancellations. This also caused a sharp decline in Li Auto's stock prices on both the Hong Kong and U.S. stock markets, wiping out over 7 billion RMB in market value within half a month. The Mega, priced at 559,800 yuan, is Li Auto's first all-electric vehicle, first MPV and its first model price close to the 600,000 yuan range. Therefore, Li Auto's founder and CEO, Li Xiang, had high hopes, believing that Mega could become the next blockbuster product and confidently claiming it would lead the over 500,000 yuan passenger vehicle sales segment. At the end of February, Li Xiang stated that the Mega's first three days of pre-orders had outperformed the same period for the 2022 Li Auto L9 which he had dubbed the best SUV under 5 million yuan. According to official numbers from Li Auto, at the time, the L9 received over 30,000 preliminary orders in the 72 hours following its launch. Preliminary orders are bookings that could still be fully refunded. Although Li Shang did not specify the number of Mega pre-orders, referencing the L9's figures suggested that expectations for the Mega's pre-orders exceeded 30,000 units, with Li Auto aiming for monthly sales of 5,000 to 10,000 units. However, more than 10 days after the Mega's launch, Li Auto has yet to announce the number of non-refundable orders, a departure from their usual promotional strategy for other major product launches. Subsequent reports indicated that the Mega's initial sales were dismal, with the number of non-refundable orders during the same period amounting to just over 3,000 units while the number of cancellations reached over 10,000 within 72 hours of its launch. Though these figures have not been confirmed by Lee Auto, the delay in releasing order data and the polarized public opinion, to some extent, illustrates that the Mega has faced a black start. The coffin car narrative has had a significant negative impact on the vehicle's marketing. According to reports from Chinese media, a salesperson at the Beijing Li Zhuang Li Auto Retail Center mentioned that since March 4th, Potential customers coming in for test drives have started to bring up this association and express their concerns. The salesperson also acknowledged that some customers have indeed chosen to cancel their orders. One consumer who had gone for a test drive in Beijing mentioned his worry about spending 600,000 yuan on a car that might attract unwanted attention on the road. According to a Chinese car reviewer, the Li Auto Mega is in an awkward spot. After a whole year of marketing buildup for its big delivery on March 1st this year, it was supposed to be all the rage. They even tried to ride the wave of Apple giving up on car manufacturing, saying if Steve Jobs were alive, an Apple car would look like the Mega. But the hype didn't match their expectations at all. Actually, it was a 180-degree turn. 
People who got their cars all surprising had the same opinion. The specs are fine, but they just can't get behind the look. Its design is too avant-garde, too unique, just too out there. Is it because it's too plain, too ugly, or too weird? Not exactly. The issue is much more serious than that. Everyone thinks the Mega looks a bit like this thing. And there's this picture going around that honestly looks a bit eerie. What was supposed to be a symbol of road innovation turned into a road coffin. Once you tie it to something as ominous as a coffin, changing people's minds becomes a whole lot harder. As Lee Auto's major vehicle release this year, the Mega's buildup spread over eight months only to crumble within 10 days. Li Auto and its marketing-savvy CEO, Li Xiang, experienced their first significant setback. He broke his silence after more than 10 days. On March 11th, Li Xiang posted on social media stating, We are addressing the organized illegal activities involved in this event through legal means. After careful consideration, we have decided to fight back, countering darkness with light. Earlier on March 2nd, Li Auto had issued a statement declaring that the insulting edits of its car's images have infringed on its reputation and constituted organized crime. The company notified Douyin, Chinese TikTok, to remove the infringing content. However, as a private automaker, Li Auto naturally lacks the influence of official government entities, so many similar videos still exist across various media platforms. Additionally, to counteract the market downturn, Li Auto adjusted the prices of its other models. On March 12th, Li Auto announced a price reduction of 18,000 to 30,000 yuan for the 2024 models of Li Auto L7 and L8, along with an offer where a 5,000 yuan deposit could be applied as a 10,000 yuan discount on the vehicle purchase. This move is seen as Li Auto's first counterattack in response to the ongoing controversy over the Mega's design. Furthermore, the designer of the Li Auto Mega has been revealed by netizens to be a foreigner named Ben Baum, who was involved in the main exterior design of the Porsche 911 and currently serves as a senior design director at Li Auto. This has led some to speculate that the foreign designer might not have understood Chinese taboos, leading to the design controversy. Some even suggested that Li Auto was sabotaged by a foreigner. However, others question this rationale, arguing that if foreign designers might not understand Chinese culture, wouldn't Chinese designers understand? This ties back to Li Auto's corporate culture, where no one dares to contradict Li Xiang once he approves an idea for fear of punishment or termination. In reality, previews of the Li Auto MPV's design were circulating as early as 2023, with Li Xiang responding, If it really ends up looking like this, I'll dismantle the design team and jump off a building myself. Though harsh, this statement certainly maxed out on publicity leading some media to comment that Li Xiang is adept at leveraging hot topics and creating buzz at a much lower marketing cost than Chinese electric vehicle newcomers like Neo and Xpeng. However, the actual car's release surprised many, as its appearance matched the previously leaked designs. This led to rampant speculation among netizens, eagerly awaiting him to jump off a building. The public believes Li Xiang must have been aware of the issue, otherwise he wouldn't have made such a statement. Yet success can cloud judgment, leading to overconfidence. Initially, the inspiration for the Li Automega was defined as a high-speed bullet train head aimed at creating a sense of luxury and sophistication for the Mega. The high-speed train is known for its speed, comfort, safety, and high level of automation and intelligence. Integrating an all-electric MPV with a concept of a bullet train head seemed like a good marketing idea. However, once the Mega was released and mockingly associated with coffins and hearses, the intended high-speed train imagery was overshadowed by a funeral home association. Some in the media believe the Mega was targeted due to the intense competition in China's new energy vehicle market, where attacking a competitor's design is seen as a low-cost, low-risk strategy. Unlike technical aspects, which can be countered with data, Attacks on design are irrefutable and can cement negative perceptions among the public. Even if those responsible face legal consequences, it's difficult to change the car's destiny. The outcome is that Li Auto invested billions in developing a new car, only to be unfairly shifted from the mainstream to an ominous one, making a comeback nearly impossible. The challenges facing the Li Auto Mega extend beyond the negative publicity as a coffin car. Its pricing also poses a dilemma. 
typically attracting large families, the mega's price, including taxes, approaches 600,000 yuan, which is a significant sum. Although Li Xiang mentioned that consumers at the 600,000 yuan price point focus on different aspects compared to those buying 200,000 yen cars, the Mega lacks a sense of luxury despite its high-end appeal. Additionally, it offers no comfort advantage over cars like the Xpeng X9 and Denza D9, which are priced around 300 to 400,000 yuan. Data from the China Automobile Dealers Association shows that the sales volume of cars priced over 500,000 yuan in China in 2023 was only 580,000 units with MPVs accounting for just 65,000 units. Expanding to mid to large SUVs priced over 500,000 yuan, models like the BMW X5 sold over 100,000 units, followed by the Mercedes-Benz GLE, Porsche Cayenne, and Land Rover Defender. These brands have high customer loyalty, making it difficult for Li Auto to convert their customers. Additionally, the Li Auto Mega lacks leading edge features it's not the debut model for the 8295 chip and the 5C supercharging technology it heavily promoted is also available in the newly launched Zeker 001. With competing models setting a price benchmark for these technologies, the Mega struggles to demonstrate its value for money in terms of features. Another critical disadvantage for the Mega is its all-electric powertrain. The Li Auto 1 and subsequent L-Series sold well not just because of precise product positioning, but also because they included a fuel tank, currently the most efficient energy replenishment method for long-distance travel. Especially during the past Chinese New Year, many all-electric vehicles were stranded on highways due to extreme weather, losing power and requiring tow trucks. This reinforced the perception that fuel tanks offer the highest sense of security for long-distance travel. Consumer trust in fuel tanks is evident in the sales of MPV models like the Denza D9 and Lingbox Dreamer, with only about 6% of D9 sales in 2023 being all-electric models, dropping to around 4% in 2024. Similarly, less than 10% of Dreamer customers choose an all-electric version. The Mega's launch failure also casts shadow over Li Auto's impressive 2023 financial report. On February 26, Li Auto announced its Q4 and full year 2023 financial results, showing that it delivered 376,030 vehicles, a 182% year-over-year increase, and achieved revenue of almost 124 billion yuan, a 173.5% increase, becoming the first Chinese new energy vehicle company to surpass 100 billion yuan in annual revenue. For 2024, Li Auto set a sales target of 800,000 vehicles, more than double the previous year. Li Auto started by landing in the top three for new energy vehicle sales with the Li Auto 1. By 2023, they sold 376,000 vehicles in the L series, turning five years of losses into a profit of tens of billions. This success understandably made Li Auto the envy of its competitors. Li Auto's rapid growth over the past three years occurred amidst fierce competition in the pure electric vehicle market a period marked by continuous financial losses for companies. In 2021 and 2022, electric vehicle manufacturers struggled due to the rising costs of battery raw materials and chips. The beginning of 2023 saw Tesla initiate a price war with its price reductions, adversely affecting the gross margins of new entrants like Xpeng and Neo, and pushing new energy brands such as WM Motor, Hi-Fi, Innovate, and Udo into operational difficulties or even bankruptcy. Entering 2024, a new round of price wars erupted, with automakers rushing to lower their prices, plunging the new energy vehicle market into a frenzied battle. Li Auto faced a bad start with a coffin car debacle. On February 19th, BYD took the lead, launching its Chin Plus Honor Edition at a market price of 79,800 yuan, causing a significant uproar Compared to the previous Champion edition of the same model, the new version's price was reduced by 20,000 yuan. Following BYD's price cut, other automakers joined in, bringing the starting prices of hybrid cars down to under 100,000 yuan. By March 3rd, over 10 automakers had officially announced price reductions or limited time offers, including major firms like Geely, Saik Volkswagen, Chang'an, Beijing Hyundai, Hozon Auto, and NIO. Some prices were nearly halved. Li Auto's announcement of price reductions on March 12th 
indicated its participation in the price competition. Observers commented that the battle in China's new energy vehicle market was not just intense, it had turned blood red. The price war that began in February was fueled by China's automotive inventory reaching new highs. In February of this year, China's automotive dealer inventory warning index stood at 64%, above the warning line, with a year-on-year -year increase of 6 percentage points and a month-to-month -month increase of 4.2 percentage points. Despite dealers launching New Year round-the-clock sales, limited-time offers, and financial subsidies during the Chinese New Year period, inventory pressures remained high. Notably, alongside record-high vehicle inventories, the market discount rate also reached a new high for the year. In February, the overall market discount rate climbed to about 20%, driven by price reductions and subsidies offered by numerous automakers, a significant increase from the 5-16% to 16 discount rate in 2023. After a year of successive price reductions in 2023, while vehicle prices dropped, the entire industry's profits also decreased. As Wei Jiangjun, the chairman of Great Wall Motors, stated, The current state of the industry is extremely unhealthy, presenting significant challenges for automakers at the factory level, dealership level, and throughout the upstream and downstream supply chain. It's well known that car manufacturing is a capital-intensive industry with pre-IPO investments of billions or even tens of billions being the norm. If new entrants fail to increase sales, their financial gaps will widen, eventually leading to insolvency. The ultimate outcome is either bankruptcy and exit from the market or merger and restructuring for a new opportunity. Previously, Li Shang had boldly predicted, by the fourth quarter of this year, the top three brands will dominate 70% of the market share in the new energy vehicle market, priced above 200,000 yuan a concentration even greater than that of traditional fuel vehicles. This implies that in the price war, new energy automakers are not only competing but also fighting for survival. Despite industry insiders agreeing with this view, no one is likely to back down. From Li Shang's statement, it seems he believes Li Auto will be one of the three top brands. However, as automakers pull out all the stops to capture market share, the real battle of 2024 has just begun. After the setback with Omega, it remains to be seen whether Li Xiang still holds this confidence.